Hello, chaps, Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. How's your day going? Thank you for stopping by, I appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments below how your day's going. Be nice to talk to you. It's been so long, boo. It's been so long. Anyways, what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, um, in the last episode, we went ahead and started the or moreover completed the uh, Automatron DLC, I want to say. We finally hunted down the Mechanist. That was like a two-hour quest. It's the longest quest I've had so far by a long shot. Um, but we did get a follow-up quest. Uh, so let's pop over to data called Rogue Robot. Um, so I think we're just going to knock that out today. I'd like to finish exploring this DLC. Um, I'm not super into the whole robot crafting thing. I don't want a robot as my companion with this build. Uh, at this point, I'm sure you understand why. So I just like to kind of wrap this up and uh, sort of check off one of the DLCs. So let's take care of that. And uh, I'm sure we'll at least have some fun while doing it. Other than that, we did get a level up in the last episode. We are up to level 43. And let's go ahead and pop that perk point into... Um... We could either do one more in Mysterious Stranger. Uh, the Mysterious Stranger appears more often in Vats. When he kills an opponent, there is a chance your critical meter gets filled. That's awesome. He doesn't pop up that much, but hopefully that'll uh, bring him up a little bit more. Better criticals. Crits do up now 2.5 times, up from 2. And we could also get another point in Critical Banker, giving us another bankable crit. But I kind of want to max out this Mysterious Stranger, so pew! Let's do that. We got it. And we'll be investing more into the luck tree in the very near future. Maybe even today. Uh, so that's all done. And... Hmm. That's odd. I don't think I had a full set of XO one power armor. Why? What the hell? Oh. When did I get a second full set of power... Why don't I remember getting that? That's weird. That's odd. Whatever. Hey, I didn't even realize we had an extra full set of X1 power armor. Probably just haven't gone around to editing that episode yet. I've got like, God, I've got like 10 episodes to edit. Ah! <laughs> Stinks when you fall behind on your editing, but that's okay. At least I have content to work on when I have the time. Um, so let's run over to our map and see where we're going. Um, looks like it's just out in the middle of nowhere. Let's head over to the Mass Gravel and Sand work site and work our way south. Weast from there. All right, here we are. Let's kill some more rats. Skaboop. Stand. And uh, while we're just out working our way towards this rogue robot. I kind of feel like I was on the salty side yesterday. Um, so that's probably going to be a two-part episode, which I haven't edited yet, but I just felt grumpy while recording that episode. So if I was on the grumpy side, I don't know what was wrong. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, you know, just was in a, I was just in an off mood. So if, if you did pick up on that and you were like, hey, why were you being all grumpy puss? I just want to say, I'm sorry. There was no particular reason. I just wasn't in a great mood. And that's why that was the only episode I recorded. Let's get this rad stag meat. Grilled rad stag is still a very useful thing to get. When you munch on that, you get plus 25 to carry weight. So it's a very convenient asset to have in your inventory. Sorry, rad stags. Ooh, that's a lot of sting wings. Stab, stab, shh. Stab! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the blood! Oh, stab! Yes! Nice. Oh! Hello! Well, you're just gonna come to us, aren't you? Stab! 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 All that stingling meat. Stingling meat? No. Oh, well. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long one, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hit that like button. 
<laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna do that to you, boo. We just started. We're just getting warmed up. That was fucking easy, though. Know? What the hell? Like, it wasn't even like a legendary. It was just like a robot. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess let's go back to Sanctuary, see if we can maybe get another one of those? Oh, 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 there was something else I wanted to show you. Um, so I said I was gonna run through and loot that whole, like, mechanist place. It was fucking huge, by the way, it took forever to loot. Um, and we got a ton of copper and a ton of oil, which are both, uh, materials that we still need to be building up our encampments. But I also found, on one of the legendaries we killed in the boss room, this. A legendary missile launcher. Critical hits cause targets to frenzy. I don't really know what that does. I'm assuming frenzy means they'll just attack anything. Which isn't necessarily the best affix for a rocket launcher. But I did want a rocket launcher on us for, for big, big ass mobs that we just need to launch missiles at, you know. <laughs> when uh, our <laughs> shiv just isn't cutting it. <laughs> So now we have that. We have a, a legendary rocket launcher, which I'm pretty happy about. So let's pop over to our weapons bench, see if we can upgrade that at all. Don't have high hopes for upgrading it, but maybe. Um, so that takes gun not to upgrade, which is a science perk, or an intelligence perk. That all takes gun nut and science. And uh, we could throw a bayonet on it, but all that's gonna do is increase the weight. So that's good enough for now. We can just hang on to that. Um, why don't we go take a nice little shower and a nap. And uh, maybe let's go build up a settlement for the rest of the episode. Uh, nothing like a nap. Am I right? My problem, IRL, is that I always nap too long. It's like if I take like a 15, 20 minute nap and actually get back up, I'll feel refreshed, but I always end up napping for like two hours. I feel like crap. I feel more tired when I stand up, finally get out of bed, and then my sleep schedule gets wanked up. Just me? Is that just me? I feel like that's not just me. Um, so if we come over to our supply lines, this should give us an easy look at what we need. Um, Red Rocket Station is at 75%. That seems good. Ten Pines Bluff, 16 people. I'm thinking they are probably a little bit overpopulated. So let's hop over there real quick, see if they need anything. The Cryolator is a powerful prototype rifle that can completely freeze your enemies. The Cryolator. Hey, hey, hey. Back in Vault 111, isn't the Cryolator locked up in a master lockpick safe? Let's go grab that after this. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be super cool. Let's go get the cry later after this. Um, yeah, so they do need more. They need more food, they need more water, more beds. Yeah, they need everything, okay. Um, why don't we give these homies uh, a prefabricated structure so we can put some beds in there. What am I doing wrong? There we go, prefabs. Right? Yeah, so we can come over and be like... Pop this down somewhere. Here we go. Let's throw some beds in here. Furniture. And give them some sleeping bags. I'm pretty sure this town, I'm pretty sure all towns cap out at 20 population. Pretty sure. So if that's the case, Let's just give them enough resources for 20 of everything. <laughs> They're going to be real cozy in here together. It's going to be a tight fit, but they can deal with that. At least they have a place to live that's safe. I don't want to hear their complaints. I got, other thing. I got bigger fish to fry, you know what I'm saying? Bigger fish to fry. There's enough water for them. Let's put down some more food. What do we have a lot of carrots? Yeah, let's give him some carrots. Three. Do you mind? Come on. Boop. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So that's six more food right there, up to eighteen. And then one, another twelve. Come on. Come on. Put it down. Two. Boop. Three. Oop, four, 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'm pretty sure somebody will auto assign there. Let's see, do they have enough defenses? Woo, we got enough oil to put down 30 more machine gun turrets. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's. That really makes doing all that mechanist quest line worth it. Let's see, 36 defense there. Let's just plop one more down up there, and they should be nice and safe. They should easily be able to defend themselves now. Um, okay, so we, uh, 10 Pines bluff, bluff should be good for the rest of time. Why don't we hop over to Vault 111 and grab that cry later? Ooh. What is it, boy? What'd you find? How is there still stuff here? Is this respawn, or did I just miss that at the start? Yeah, that's a great find. <gasps> You're such a good boy. How you doing, buddy? You're such a good boy, Captain Kirk. Oh, you're so happy. Hey, boy. You know so any happy. Tricks? Look at his little face. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I just love you so much. Oh, you actually put a smile on my face. Because I love you so much, Captain Kirk. Uh, so, question. How do I get back down? Do I have to be like... <laughs> Okay, cool. That's how we do it. Gives you plenty of time. Honey, I'm home! Oh my gosh, back in Vault 111. What a trip. That's crazy. We've come so far. Talk magic. How did you even get out there, Captain Kirk? You're so special. You're so magical. Skaboop. Um, why is there combat music playing? Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, the cryolator case. Master lock, let's do it. Nope, nope. Got it. Nailed it. Motherfucking nailed it. Yes. Ooh. Cryolator. So it takes cryo bullets, which we actually have 200 of, and it does 25 energy damage, and I'm assuming it freezes targets. That'd be kind of silly if it didn't. What's up, bro? You just hanging out still? Cool. Let's go, let's go check in on our wife. Does this hurt? Not much of it does. Honey? Honey, where are you? Sugar bear, are you still here? Yeah, you're probably still here. Oh, sweet cheeks, what do you do? Wait, no, that's a man. Oh! Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down. We've we've come to terms with this. Are you dead? I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I did find them. I He's promise. dead now. His name was Kellogg, like the cereal. All right, I'm just gonna be easy a backed up. Hopefully, one of these doctors will have a dialogue option to come here and like check on you. Maybe I shouldn't have unthawed you there for a second. That might have been dumb. I don't know much, though. Don't know much. Um, alrighty. I'll see you guys back in Sanctuary. Shift it back to sanctuary and our tree fort's loading in all slow and fancy. Look at that. That's kind of neat. Weird. Wow, it's just appearing out of nothingness. Cool. 
Um, so what else are we gonna do this episode? Let's ditch... I mean, I guess we haven't really looted very much whatsoever. Oh, we got a second wedding ring. Let's keep that safe in the bank. Uh, don't need that. Does Ida have anything to say about our, uh... A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? No. Ada, are you picking up a signal from any more of the rogue robots? It's possible. Would you like me to run another scan? Not particularly. Um, how many of those is she gonna give us? Because I don't really care. Never mind. Of course. Just let me know if your curiosity gets the better of you again. If, uh... If I'm missing something important by not doing more of those, air quotes, quests, uh, let me know. But it seems like that's just kind of pointless. I really see zero incentive for, for me and my future plans to continue doing rogue robot quests. Um, so what else? Let's go back to our supply lines because we still haven't been recording very long. Starlet seems good. 62% happiness. Crafting Boathouse. Oh, they got 16 people? Yeah, they probably need some help. Let's go over there. Hey, guys. How we doing? We're still on watch. Good man, good man. Uh, yeah, they need some... They need more stuff. Give them some more beds. Got a nice big house here. For them to all sleep in. It's <laughs> Scaboobity boop. Put a fancy bed right here. Or not. Hey. Get that out of my way. Hurt him away. Punk. 19. One more bed for them. 20. There we go. They should be good there. Got enough defenses. Definitely need more water. Uh, where's my power grid? Let's go. Over two power. No, that's defenses. Power generator. Let's give him a nice big old generator. Come on. Let's pop that down, right there. this up to the rest of the grid. And then come over resources. Wata. Give them a good pump. Should get some nice purified water for us here. So they got enough water and they need more food. Um, almost out of carrots. Let's give them some corn. And we got a little gardening area right here. Perfect. Skibu. in the way? Give me a fucking break. I see the sweet spot. Why can't I? Gently. There we go. Oops, I lost count. Uh, food is up to 19. Just put a couple more out here. They're bad gardeners. The plants are getting out of the garden. There we go. Okay, so they should be in a good place. Hey, whoa. Who's talking to me? What do you want? What do you want? Let's show supply lines. Who needs a supply line? There's a couple of you that do. So let's send out some of these settlers. We need one at the Mechanist Lair. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not building that up. Nordhagden Beach already has people, so they're going to need one. And Jamaica Plan. Jamaica Plain and Nordhagton Beach. Alright, who doesn't have anything going on? Hey, you! Hey, you! You're gonna go to Jamaica Plan. And you! You're gonna go to 
Nordhagen Beach. There we go. And then we should be able to come into our pit boy supply lines. Okay, everywhere that we want to build up has a supply line. That is good. That is good. I, I just don't see any purpose in really building at these locations. Like, there's not already settlers there, so growing them just seems like work that I don't want to do. Grey Garden. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just make the rest of this episode about settlements. Uh, so buckle up if you're not interested in settlement stuff. Now's the time to dip, but I'm, I'm going to take care of all of our settlements for the rest of this episode. Let's head over to Starlight Drive-In and see what they work. need. Hello, Starlight Drive-In peoples. How goes it here? Let's see. Um, yeah, you need, you need some help. I am here to help. Let's see what we need. Let's go for resources. You know what we could probably do? What's this? Gardening plot? Ooh! Fancy! Let's try these out. They don't snap together, that's a little annoying. Kaboop. Kaboop. Oh, that's taking all my fertilizer. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. <clears throat> um, scavenging stations. I'm pretty sure somebody will auto-assign to that and just give us random scrap. Which would be nice. What else can we do here? Let's give them some... A little more mutt fruit. Will you guys harvest this automatically? How many can I get on here? Nine? Ooh. Oh, these are super useful. Okay, I like that. I'm glad we built these. I need more fertilizer, though, then. I'll keep an eye out for that. Scoop. Oh, come on. Don't you do this to me. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Um, let's go ahead and store that. Oh. oh, what the fuck? What the hell just happened? Gosh darn it. Excuse me. Excuse me! I'm trying to work here. Skaboop. 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 Eh. Eh. Oh, I, I, I saw the sweet spot. I know it's there. Skaboop. And skaboop. Let's see how that does for food. Let's get them some more water. Let's put them a second water purifier. Skaboop. They're probably going to need more power. They got five. Let's get them a second generator. Can I tuck these in neatly? Nope. Fine. Skaboop. Is somebody going to auto assign to that food? No. You. You're going to be harvesting mutt fruit for the rest of your life. Uh, let's go resources, food, put down a couple more mutt fruit plants. One, two, three, four. That should give them a nice even 20 food. Should be all they'll ever need. And let's get them some more beds. You. Here. And let's see why we can't use this structure over here. Oh, now you have way too much food. Awesome. Oops. Furniture. Skaboop. 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 There's another room over here, right? Yes, there was. Boop. Boop. And somebody actually gets some personal space over in that corner. Awesome. Alright, they're set. Where a two a next? Supply lines. How is Red Rocket Station doing? Let's go check in on them. Get the 
This episode is going to be a bitch to edit. I'm doing so many jumps. Uh -huh. Seven people, 12 food, 15. Let's just get you fully prepared for whatever it is you're going to need. Let's give him a prefab. Shoobity boop. I like uh, this one. Yes, this one. Beds. Of course they get cheap sleeping bags. Because I'm the best leader ever. to smell everybody's feet. Um, what else do they need? More Wakta, of course. One there, and one there. Let's get them some more food. Why don't you guys eat some gourds? This would be a nice little hill of gourds. Don't want to place there nicely. Fine. Fine. I didn't want to put gourds on that hill, anyways. It's a lie. I did. That's why I named it Gourd Hill there a moment ago. Whoa. Come back here, damn Ooh, starting shit. Stab! Stay away from my settlers. Rust devil. Devil of rust. <coughs> Stab. Stab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stab. <laughs> oh man. You're weak. You're weak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. My balls going in your mouth makes me invisible. What you know? Yeah. Ooh. What the fuck? Here we go. Stab! 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take all this shit. Not that I'd need it. Actually, I think I still got some 10 mil rounds in there, which is good. As we went through, like, all of our fucking ammo, killing the mechanist. Oh, and we went through all of our stim packs. I forgot to tell you guys. I actually, uh, went over to Sanctuary and just cleaned out the shops on stim packs and blood packs. So we're back up to 67. So we should be solid for quite a while. Alright, see, so we got a rad stack out of this. Very good. Very good. Did somebody die? I thought you had 12 food a second ago. What? Will this do something? Hey, Brahmin. Got you a feeding trough. Hey, you. Eat. And be happy. Um, can I actually... Sign you? Damn it. Okay. I don't understand how Brahmins work. Because I'm cool like that. But yeah. Not me, er, Captain Kirk, you're good. You, harvest some food. You'll be harvesting gourds on this hill for the rest of your life! What, they, don't, they really don't have enough food down yet? Give me, give me something on the side. Give me something on the side. Thing. You guys get one carrot for stews there. This is your carrot. You're in charge of this carrot now. Is that going to make enough food? You're in charge of this very small patch of carrots. You doing it? 19, 20. Boom. Okay. Uh, so they got 20, 20, 20. They're good. Get out of Red Rocket Station. Do our supply lines. We're good there. Good there. We're good there. 
What is this place? Grey Garden. Let's go check in on our robot friends. Hey, is Betty White still here? I like her. She's flirty like me. Easy to talk to. Hey, Betty White, how Supervisor are you? Supervisor White. What can I do for you, darling? Oh, just your smile is enough, sweetheart. Let's see. So what do you all need? You just tell me what you need, and I will get it for you. So you got plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of defenses. You could use some beds, though. You could use a few more beds and maybe a prefab. Let's make that happen for you. Scoobity boop. Let's give him a big ass prefab here. Betty White deserves it. I'm gonna put that down. Can we get that a little closer to the ground, please? Eh. 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 Oh, I saw a sweet spot. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, so let's get these. No, we don't want to store that. We want to come to furniture beds. Boop, 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 boop. Three XP a piece. This isn't the worst. And when idiot spawn goes off, we get 15. Making beds is fun. That guy's bed's gonna get walked on. He'll deal. Oh god, that car freaking triggers me. The fact that I can't break it down for steel. And, oh, cinder block. Don't mind if I do. Store that and that and that. That and that. Store that. Um, okay. Looks like you guys are happy sleeping outside. I'll give you 22 beds. Uh, okay, so Grey Garden looks good. Where to a next? God, this is going to be a pain to edit. Uh, we did Tafting Boathouse. Green Top Nursery. Set over there. Oh, so I'm facing a new challenge with the channel. I mean, there's always a zillion channels going on to overcome. But as the weather is getting warmer, my little studio in my walk-in closet is hot as fook. It is very warm in here. It was warm in here during the winter, and now that the weather's getting warmer, it is getting quite toasty in here. Uh, so that's something I'm, I'm having to deal with. So hopefully you can't hear the fan running in the background, because I gotta get some freaking airflow in here. I'm cooking. Cooking. You know what? You've actually got mad resources just sitting around. Nope. Let's scrap that. Why do you just have mutt fruit sitting on the table? Put that in the bank, you silly gooses. Kaboop. 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 Put me down. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. There's gonna be a sleeping area now. Or that. Or that. Oh god, no fucking cans. Can, can, can you do the can, can, can you do the can, can, can you do the can? No. No, I can't. It's an ugly painting anyways. My fruit, good stuff goes into a lot of recipes, so it's good to have. Oops. Then a couple more beds. Ooh, some nice bread. beds. Who cares? Who cares? Eh. Oh yeah, those are those are nicely placed. You're welcome. You guys can move them around if you need. They got enough water. They got enough food. They got enough beds. They got enough defense. Power, eh, they'll be fine. Why didn't I clear this place more properly? Do you guys have any fertilizer or did I already take it all? Because I would not mind getting some more fertilizer. 
think I already took it all. Okay, that one was easy. Where to next? Um, so we did green top. Let's head over to the slog. You guys ever watch uh, One Punch Man? If you do, uh, ooh, ooh. We gotta fight! Stay away from our settlers! <laughs> Gunners! <laughs> yeah, a stab! Ooh! Okay. Stab. Stab! Don't kill the settlers! Commonwealth. Can I loot these? Can a float fly meat never hurt anybody. Except when it poisons you. Help defend the slog, awesome. It they broke our corn stalks. What the fuck? Thanks Freaking for gunners. Help. I got you, boo. Uh, looks like they've got lots of food here, which they do. They need defenses, beds, water. They need the whole shabong. Um. Shabong indeed. So let's give them power station generator. Boop. <coughs> mm. <coughs> yep. Yep. Got a tickle in my throat. Wonder if I can build a water pump here. I don't see why I couldn't. The swimming pool should be just fine for that. That takes two. Fire it up there. Let's give them a recruitment beacon, which is under power, miscellaneous, yes. And skaboop, took them up with some defenses, but I was saying, uh, One Punch Man, have you guys watched One Punch Man? If you haven't, change that. It is seriously, like, I like anime, like, I'm no weeaboo, but I enjoy a good anime, you know. I probably watch a couple of different anime series per year. One Punch Man is easily one of the best animes I've ever fucking seen, and that's after one season. It's like, imagine all the best stuff about Dragon Ball Z without all the bullshit. No filler, just incredible action, hilarious comedy. Seriously, check out One Punch Man if you haven't. Uh, yeah, just had to put that out there, because I was I've been watching that. I can't remember why I brought that up. Did I just want to talk about how good it is? Maybe. Yeah, if you have watched it, tell me in the comments below. If you haven't, go watch it and tell me about how much you loved it in the comments below. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, I actually... So, One Punch Man, there's sort of this joke in the show where the way he gets his, his superpowers, and uh, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but if you haven't watched it, just fair warning, spoiler alert air quotes. It's not really a spoiler. Um, but the the joke is that he has like this workout that he does to become so incredibly powerful. And uh, so I started actually doing that workout in real life just to kind of mix up my workout routine because I usually go for runs a lot, but I wanted to mix it up. And uh, so what he does is 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10 kilometer run every day. And I was like, Psh, I can do that. So I started doing it. It's actually going really well. Um, did it this morning. I've been doing about a week now, and it feels really good. It's actually a, a really nicely balanced workout. It's enough to get you sore and cover all your bases, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? It's not too much. Let's pop down some beds in here. We need three more. But yeah, so I'm good and sore. But I got that runner's high endorphin rush feeling really good today. I went for a run yesterday. I'm not sure why I was in such a sassy mood. Whatever. It's neither here nor there. Uh, let's get them 
one more water pump. Don't see why not. Yep. We got plenty of resources to make that happen for them. We need another generator. Just give them a small one this time. Wire that up. And wire that up. Sweet. 25, 23, 20 beds. They need some defenses now. Guard the post. Hopefully they'll be cool and just auto assign to this. just slap down turrets, but I kind of like these guard posts. It gives them something to do. Makes them feel like they're contributing, which is important. It's important to have purpose in life. Slap down some turrets. Good. Over here. Hey, you. What are you doing? Who are you? Are you a doctor? Ooh, hey there. Doc Weathers. Doc Weathers is guaranteed to patch up any bruises, holes, <gasps> and diseases you've picked up. Can you but fix my wife? Fix for personality. She's got, I think, a bullet in her head. Um, are you really a doctor? She's frozen, though. Does that help? you my degree from the school of saving wise asses like you. <laughs> You're about to get stabbed. You need help or what? Talking to me with that sass? Are you... Really, the doctor? You want news? <laughs> want me to rub your feet at the same time? Yeah. I only got time for one thing: making caps. Oh, and uh, you know, helping people. Are you really a doctor? <laughs> you want news? Want me? To... <laughs> Not okay. Today. I don't All think right. he's gonna help us with his Excuse with our me. wife. Um. Okay. So they should be set here. Give them one more turret over here. Make sure they're safe while they're sleeping. Why did I close that so quickly? Uh, yeah, they're set. Happiness is on the rise. Where to next? We did the slow. We need to go to the Finchy Farms. Now we've almost got that level, chaps. We're almost up to 44. So let's keep at it. It's got all of our settlements in good condition, which feels great for an OCD chap like myself. Feels really good to be getting this done. Stuff like this nags at me. Let's give him a nice big prefab. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oops. Please just wait. You're not with the gutters. You fucking idiot, we've met like eight times. God, what is your fucking problem? Aki? Gunners? Yes. Can you tell me about your trouble with the gunners? It's the gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a okay. th they ran off too easy once they saw we were gonna fight back. If yeah. you can help us shore up. Yep. I already did that, bro. I saved you from the super mutants, remember? After I saved your son and took out that group of freaking flame crazed bandits over there. Jeez, this guy has no memory. I think he's got dementia. Uh Two beds. Get them hooked up with some sleeping spaces. That's annoying. Whatever. No big deal. Still have enough room to work with. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh. Gunners! Stamp! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, legendary! Even shooting at me, son. Right. Yeah. Disarm, toe bag. Stab! 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 Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What? Why was there no path? Stab! Yeah, disarmed. Perfect timing. Stab! You're into blocking, aren't you? Stamp! Gee, stop it! Yeah, get frozen, ho. Ooh, two stim packs. Don't mind if I do. Ah, 
There was a legendary too. That's cool. Nice. Mutant Slayer's Assault Rival does 50% more damage against Super Mutants. That's a lot of bonus damage, but not that we have any trouble killing Super Mutants. Short Plasma Rifle. Eh, don't care. Did we lose another? All oh, right, that's the wife. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna take your cap because you're not using it. Because I really need one more cap, right? <laughs> um, right, beds. A beds. Harry Potter can sleep under the stairs. Person's gonna get really tan sleeping in the sun like that. Hopefully they got sunscreen in the post-apocalyptic future. Um, do they have a water source where I could build some decent pumps? And uh, perhaps, perhaps right there. Let's find out. Resources, water, big pump. Yes. Good, good, good. Power generator. Good. Resources. I'll give them one more little water pump. Skaboop. I need food. Oh, I got a lot of corn. Still got a lot of corn. Already got a garden area set up. Lovely. I'm going to mess up their rows. Because I've been doing this crafting stuff a while and I don't care. <laughs> Skaboop. Mention I've saved these guys enough times, I'm not coming back to save them again. Boop. 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 Good enough! Oh, they need a recruitment beacon, is what they need. Um, so let's go power. Generator. Miscellaneous. Ow! To you too, buddy. So they should auto assign to that food. And they've got plenty of defense. Did they break any of my turrets? Is that working? Yes. Yes. Okay. We're good. Uh, Finch farms should be good from here on out. Come back to the line lines. We're almost done with this, chaps. We're almost done. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. Let's go over to Country Crossing. Okay. Uh, talk to Preston Garvey. What does he want? All right, let's try to remember to talk to Preston after this. So we have a recruitment beacon here. They've only got five people, though. Only need one bed. Uh, nope. Stay. Let's just put this right here. Skaboop. Um, they could use some more defense, though. Give him some turrets. Skaboop. Skaboop. And one more. Skaboop. They got enough water. They can use some more food, though, methinks. For resources to food. And y'all are getting corn, just like everybody else. America. Corn, corn, corn. Corn, 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 corn. We put corn in all of our food. Maybe that's why we act like cattle. <laughs> you. Corn. Got it. Get on it. 19. 19. 20. Cool. Alright. They're set up. God, I'm getting quick at this. Country crossings is set. Nord Hagden Beach. They're going to need the full shebang. Why do I have a supply line to Boston Airport? I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, set them up in another episode. So we need Nordhagden. Castle's probably still good. Let's go over to the castle first, then we'll do Nordhagden and Jamakia Plan. Hello, Minutemen. 
so they've got plenty of defense, beds, food, water. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are just fine, aren't you? Um, you know what? I think we've actually been recording for an hour now. I think I'm going to save those two other settlements for other episodes that are a little bit too short, and we can build them up then. That should be more than enough fun for today. But hey, I really want to thank you guys for watching, especially if you stuck with me in this uh, kind of boring episode. And uh, if you remember any of those questions I asked, feel free to chat with me in the comments down below. I'd certainly appreciate it. <gasps> Puppy! Squirrel. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Puppy! Puppy! Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button for me. Leave a comment if you just want to help the channel grow, or you can subscribe for more of my content. But either way, I will see you chaps here next time with more Fallout 4.